Hi, everybody, and welcome to our show. My name is Rick Conti, and today we're going to talk about some information on the C8 Corvette that I don't think anybody's talked about yet. So I hope you appreciate the fun manner in which we present it, and I hope you find it interesting. And then we'll announce the winner of the Banner Contest, that beautiful six foot by eight foot all generations Corvette Banner. It's printed on this gorgeous fabric, and it comes with a metal mounting frame. Over the last several weeks, all you had to do is guess, just make a wild guess at how many Corvette logos are on the C8 mid-engine Corvette Coupe, inside and out. I've got the answer right here, and you're going to be shocked at how many logos are on this new car. I know I was, because I had to count them. Hi everybody and welcome to Coffee with Conti. And actually as cold as it is out here right now, it should be Cocoa with Conti. But you go ahead, drink whatever you have. I appreciate you taking the time to join us because right here on this channel, we cover all aspects of Corvette. Things that you want to know, things that you need to know, stuff going on in the marketplace. And I love sharing those amazing journeys to Corvette ownership. And sometimes we discover information by accident. In fact, that's what I have for you today. Recently, I was turning a C8 quite tightly and noticed how great that turning radius was. So immediately I jump online, I start looking at all my Chevrolet data, and I couldn't find any comparables between C7 and C8 in regards to the turning radius. So I thought, well, why don't we have some fun, conduct a home experiment, and we'll show you the differences in the turning radius between C7 and C8, today on Coffee with Conti. You know that I run it. Everything you want to do, I already done it. And I got your little bull telling me she love me. I got this one, that one. Damn, it's going to be a long night. Yeah. You know. I said, uh, I said, damn, it's going to be a long night. So this is what I was dancing around with. Some PVC pipe cut at an angle to tape on the underside of the car and then the sidewalk chalk to go into here. And yeah, you get it when I'm driving in a circle. This is supposed to make a line. I don't know if this was a good idea. All right, if we're gonna do a comparison, then we gotta start in the same area. So I'm gonna mark the outer edge of this tire, and kind of the front edge as well. Here's the other thing I want to do. Ryan, you hand me that tape measure, please. You guys thought I was going to use the rapid blue chalk for the C8, didn't you? No, I've got red chalk for the red car. All right, so this outer edge of the tire I have marked, and just gonna measure the width so we get an idea. In the comparables, I know this is probably gonna come in around 77, 78 inches, outer tire to outer tire, and yeah, right around 78 inches. Okay, so let's make some circles. Had a tough time with the chalk making contact with the ground. How's my circle look, guys? Am I drawing one? Am I getting anything, Ryan? They're shaking their head no. I don't think we did it. Okay. No? Nothing on the ground. Okay. Uh, take four. Okay. Uh, take five. Truth be told, this is not working out the way we wanted it to. I'm going to have to hang my arm outside the car. Try to keep enough pressure on the chalk so I can get that circle that I'm trying to show you guys. Actually, I want to see myself. So we've not tested this. 
obviously. <laughs> Waiting for the thumbs up from my drone guy. Okay, take five. Did we make a circle? This was, trust me, this was a great, this is a great idea. <laughs> Your just fell out the other side of the thing. Oh. Yeah, Ryan just said, he goes, Dad, this is a great idea, you have to do it. Okay, how do we do it? A little late to ask you guys for ideas, I was trying to surprise you. This is not how I wanted this vlog to go. Yeah, see the tape is not holding on to the, See, I started, I didn't even... Because you, like I said, if you push on too hard, it's gonna get pushed up into here. Yeah, yeah, it did, it did get pushed up in there. All right, we're gonna do the C8 car here in a second. Not sure from the air if you were able to see, but here's the blue line. I went back over it just to put a little more emphasis on it, but this is the circle that we made with the C7 Corvette. And probably the 10th attempt and we got it done. So we're gonna line the C8 up, we're gonna use red chalk, and try and capture the difference in the circumference starting from the same spot, from right there. Okay. And it looks like they're gonna be about the same. They're pretty darn close. That's why this is gonna be a nice comparison because they are so close, and I'm sorry you guys are looking at my back. So I try to do this. And yeah, they're right about 78 for all non-technical purposes, okay? That'd be pretty darn close. I'm gonna have Ryan get the drone up in the air, maybe not so high this time, and you guys can see as I'm drawing this. And a special thanks to Gary in North Carolina. We're using your car and you didn't even know that we were gonna do that. <laughs> oh man, this is a lot of fun. Let's get a little frustrated. I really didn't think we were gonna pull this off. Let me know when you're ready, sir. See, this only works if you guys actually can see me drawing the circle, which I don't think you could in the C7. I'm sorry? Go? Okay. Wheel all the way to the left. Chalk is down. going again <laughs> why not why wow, this is weird oh I think I started to move the steering wheel all right now as you saw I went around twice and it looks like I was moving the stick here so all right so here's the first one look at the inside so the red is the C8, the blue is the C7. As I make this turn, look at that there. You can see the big differences there. Even more so here, look at this, guys. Wow. Hey, grab me that tape measure real fast, would you please? And then look at this, guys. As you come around here, look how big this is. Oh, wow, this is exactly what I was talking about. Look how tight, look at the difference. I'm gonna measure this for you here. So, oh yeah, all right, that's, at first I didn't think it was gonna be that much of a disparity, but right there, two feet from that line to this line, two feet. Okay, it really is cold out here, guys, but I hope you enjoyed seeing it firsthand yourselves, the turning radius differences between C7 and C8. Could you tell the difference? I know I could feel the difference. It was a lot of fun bringing that to you guys, but let's go inside and have some more fun by announcing the winner of our contest that we've been running all month long. How many logos on the C8 Corvette Coupe, inside and out with a car turned off? Based on what I got, how close were you?
Well, folks, I hope you're enjoying today's Coffee with Conti. And did you find that interesting? The difference in the C7 versus C8 turning radius across the C7 was 25 feet. The C8 was 23 feet. Now, if you've driven a C8 and you've turned it all the way to the left or the right, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That car turns on a dime. Okay, let's talk about more information that nobody's really focused on in regards to the new C8 mid-engine Corvette. Talk about the pride of product. How many Corvette logos are on that new coupe, inside and out? I thank all of you for the entries and having fun. Over a thousand entries, in fact, and a lot of creative ones. Many people said 2020 for the 2020 Corvette. That was a good guess. 1953 for the first year Corvette. That was a good guess. 495 for the horsepower. Good guess. But all of them are way off. So where were those logos? Of the silk plates, headlights, taillights, windshield, steering wheel, headrest, seat belt clip, back window, engine cover, nose of the car, wheel center caps, speaker between the seats, inside the driver's door jam, there's two there, the mode selector, and the one that most of you missed was inside the car where the cell phone holder sits. That pad has over 3,000 Corvette logos. <laughs> Before I give you the final answer, how about some honorable mentions? our five finalists. You know what, this contest was a lot of fun. Thanks again, you guys. I really enjoyed it. Hope you enjoy the prize. It's from your boy Ricky and your friends right here at Coughlin Corvette of Pataskala. Gonna announce the winner and the quantities here in just a moment how many logos are on the c8 corvette coupe inside and out but whose idea was this contest anyway <laughs> it was mine something different again content that nobody has talked about i was getting dizzy looking at the screen of the pictures that i took this is the phone pad area where your phone rests in the center between the two seats of the c8 corvette and you're going oh i didn't know that oh my gosh yeah, oh my gosh, look at this, oh my gosh. This right here, just the small portion right here, that's 800 Corvette logos. I've got all this to count yet, plus the rest of the car. If you guessed under 1,000, you didn't win. I don't think, <laughs> you're like, oh, come on, Rick. I don't think that anybody, I haven't even had a chance as the time I'm recording this and counting just before we air the vlog, I haven't looked at your guesses yet. I got a funny feeling nobody is close to this. It may be the guy that had the highest guess wins. Wow. You know what, though? This is a lot of fun. Thanks for joining us on the channel. I got some more counting to do. Results coming up. 801, 802, 803, 804, 805, 806, 807. This is going to take a while. Before I reveal the contents, I told you, you could be over, under, it was the closest to what I counted is what counted for the entry. There was one guy that was within 348 of my count, and another guy, that's our winner, that was within 279 of the actual count. Three thousand six hundred and fifteen Corvette logos are on your new C8 mid-engine Corvette coupe. Can you believe it? That is crazy. I love it. This is so much fun. And our winner goes by on YouTube. His handle is D 
L, DL, with a winning guess of 3,336. Second place will go to Jack Carpenter at 3,963. Guys, you better be a subscriber or we gotta move down the list, but congratulations to both of you, Jack. Second prize is this gorgeous and exclusive camouflaged, perfect for military month here in November, camouflaged die-cast Corvette. You know what? This just blows me away. 3,615 Corvette logos. What a fun contest. Thanks again, everybody, for entering. Congratulations to our winners. What a fun prize from your boy Ricky and your friends right here at Coglin Corvette of Pataskala. Support our channel as you have already. I do appreciate that by subscribing. And you know what's funny, though? When I look at this number, before, I, I mean, I knew that those logos were in the cell phone pad in the back window. If I would have guessed before I even started counting, I would have said around 1,500. So I too was not even close. Have a great day, you guys. Thanks for watching.